Yeah, but again, we, we haven't won the series. We just know what we're supposed to do. You know? and, um, like I told him earlier, you know, my experience in the playoffs, the closeout game, we're going to the team out. It was the hardest, it was the hardest game. And they had to lose. In this situation, they're going to be in the building. So we got to come in with the same intensity, same mindset, and we will. And uh, it'll be right here. Was there a memorable moment for you? Well, you guys were down pretty good with just a couple minutes left. Was there a memorable moment, something that happened at the timeout or anything, where you kind of felt like, hey, we, we might be able to pull this off? Uh, I think we were down by like 11. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much time was left, maybe three minutes, mm -hmm. maybe a little more, I don't know. And uh, so we all just kept saying to each other, we got enough time. Uh, we got enough time to come back. And then, they brought us and brought us back. And we got stops and got the ball in eight. And we got stops and got the ball in eight. And we got stops and got the ball in eight. And, uh, and uh, you know, he carried us, but he was amazing. And don't, don't underestimate the game that Kirk Heinrich played tonight, man. Kirk Heinrich did a hell of a job. You know, obviously, his guard, their best player, he will. Playing, I don't know, 60 minutes, whatever he played tonight. He played the whole game, it seemed like. 50 uh, Scored the ball for us when he had to. We had everybody involved when he had to. He played amazing defense. Um, don't underestimate what Kirk Kyron did tonight. How long does it take you to physically recover from a game like this? I guess it's the <laughs> you know, playoffs, so it's whatever it takes, man. That's why I kept telling the guys in the, in the huddle. As we kept going to overtime and overtime and overtime. I just said, whatever it takes, man. Sometimes you're going to win different ways. Usually with our defense. Tonight we had to win with our offense. It's not what we like, but we had to do it. And that's what happened. Um, great game to be a part of. Great game to win. Um, you know, the biggest game now is the game five in Brooklyn. You think Tibbs takes it easy on you guys tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, uh, we're we'll, we'll going to make our corrections. Um, you know, actually, our, our standards are very high. We're going to make our corrections and uh, be ready. Carlos, everybody's playing through injuries right now. Everybody's banged up. How would you describe what Joe has been able to do on that foot? Man, unbelievable, man. That's the crazy thing is, as the series going along, he's done more and more and more. You know? Last game, he had one point, and that one point gave us a cushion we needed to win the game. Tonight, he had a monster double double, countless blocks. Should have had more, but you know, the whistle didn't go our way. As often as we would like it to, but uh, now Joe King is a complete warrior, man. He's amazing. Have you he played proud to be his team? He played 30 <laughs> minutes tonight. Does that surprise you that he had that many minutes tonight? I mean, like I said, whatever it took, man. That's what we all kept telling each other. And, uh, I don't know. I'm just proud. I'm, I'm proud of my teammates, man. We played amazing, man. Have you ever been part of a game like this in your career? Uh, not, not, to, not to my recollection. You know, I can't. I can't think of one like this, not in this setting, not in the playoffs, not the way the game went up and down, through the war, a bunch of overtime. I think we had two or three. So I don't know. How <laughs> 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 we know the game started at one o'clock. I think it's almost six o'clock now. Five thirty or something. So, Five thirty. Uh, amazing game. Man. But nothing comes easy. Uh, when he saw Nate get picked off by Gerald uh, Wallace, do you, do you think to yourself, maybe, that's Which not one? the guy you want to win? The Wallace screened him in the backcourt and he planted him. Uh, oh, yeah. You I think was, to yourself, <laughs> man, maybe they don't want to nah, get him. I didn't even see the play. I just saw Nate on the ground. And the crazy thing about it, almost woke him up, man. You know, and after that, I mean, he was already going a little bit before that. But after that, it was. Maybe became a whole different person. You know, he's a physical player, obviously. Football mentality, you know, because he's a bad football player, he's a football player. And when the physicality picks up in his position, Nate thrives off that. He thrives off competition. You, know, you saw him coming tonight, when he competes like that. Ain't nobody, nobody can do.